everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sahar and today we're going to be comparing application processing, well application processing, <laughs> of the Tati Blendiful and her baby versus the Morphe sponge. So who do you think will give me a more flawless look? Which do you think is the Morphe side and which do you think is the Tati side? Well, well. I just recently hit a thousand subscribers and I'm really, really thankful. Thank you so much for subscribing and supporting me. If you are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and comment down below which do you think is going to win this round. So I recently got this in the mail and I immediately started filming because I just can't wait to try these. I've been waiting a month for this to come. This is definitely softer than this. This is kind of like stiffer almost. Material seems to be smooth and the same. And uh, do you need both? I definitely don't think you need both. But it is nice and handy to have this, especially in your bag, to like, you know, touch up or absorb any of that oil. Now let's just get into the video so you can see the application process and whether or not this is any good or even better than a normal or regular makeup sponge. So let's just get into the video. Let me zoom you in. I did do the Morphe sponge on this side and the Blendiful on this side. And honestly, uh, I do have like pimples on this side and pimples on this side and some scarring. So you can see that there is coverage, but I'm not sure if you can see, but this side where I use my, my Morphe sponge, it is a little bit like dewier and um, because maybe because the sponge is wet so I it looks natural and dewy and I've always had some problems with a sponge when it comes to coverage because the coverage does go down with sponge on this side this is where I use the blendiful um, it's it's more matte than the Morphe side but as you can see, like I have a pimple over here. I don't know if you can see that, but it didn't really cover as well. And I do like the finish a little bit more on the Tati side. I like see that immediately. Usually when I use a brush, I, one pump is good. When I use a sponge, I need to like use two pumps. Okay, so let me zoom you in for my forehead area. I'm gonna put like a little bit. This is how much I usually put on my forehead. I'm gonna do one side. The lights are so bright. I'm not actually sure if you can see this clearly. And then I'll do the other side with the Tati Blendiful. Okay, so I don't know if you can see that, but this is not as smooth. The Blendiful part is not as smooth as the... I can see it from here. The Blendiful is not as smooth as the um, Morphe sponge if you like swipe it that way. But I think you can make it work by like dabbing it. Yep, definitely better if you dab it. If you dab it, the streaks go away and it looks really good and it looks really smooth. So this side with the um, Tati Blendiful is just a little bit more matte than this side with the sponge which is a little bit more damp and I can understand because you use water with a sponge and you don't. You use this dry, the Blendiful dry. I think I prefer the coverage of the Tati Blendiful. It does have higher coverage than the sponge. Okay, we're gonna try with concealer this time. 
I will just do my under eyes so that we can see a difference immediately. So I'll go in with the sponge for my this side of the eye. So that is for the Morphe side. Uh, we're gonna use the same, no, let's use like this side to do the... Dirty? I'm not entirely sure I like how that turned out. I feel like I have more coverage on the Morphe side. I feel like I wiped away some of my product. Okay, I don't know if you can see. Can you tell? I don't know how it shows in camera, but this side is the Blendiful. I feel like I wiped some off. And then this is this this is the Morphe sponge side. I feel like it is higher coverage for some reason. But going with the second layer, I don't usually go with second layers for concealer, but in this case, I'm just I'm just kind of weirded out by what happened. So this time we'll go in with the Blendiful first. Let me just be careful and just dab it on top. I have to say it's actually really easy to like dab. I was afraid that I have to like you know dab too hard. I also feel like since this is dry, it sets a little bit faster. I still feel like I have higher coverage for some reason. I'm supposed to have higher coverage here since this does not soak up any product. Um, but yeah, I do really like the finish of the Tati Blend. I actually prefer the finish of the Tati Blendiful. With the Blendiful, it actually looks so much smoother. If you like do the dabbing motion. Do not do like the swiping motion because the swiping motion, it's streaky. So now we're gonna go with Cream Contour. So this is the Tom Ford Cream Contour. I will be trying it on the sponge. I usually use a sponge for cream products. Blendiful. You can immediately see the sharpness as opposed to this side. There's no sharpness here, so there's like super sharpness. Cool. That's what I like about the Blendiful right now. Like I'm I'm I am set. Super sharp. Then we can like maybe bring it up, diffuse it a little. I kind of prefer the Blendiful side to be honest. So I like the Blendiful side a lot more because I feel like I had more precision with the Blendiful side as opposed to the Morphe sponge side. Uh, usually when you go over your foundation with cream products, it kind of takes away, when I use a sponge, it kind of takes away some of that coverage from the foundation. But with the Tati Blendiful side, I feel like it did not take away any of the coverage. This side looks so much smoother, to be totally honest. Next, we're gonna go in with some blush. This is the uh, Etude House Very Delicious Cream Blusher in the shade PK002. I love this blush so much. It goes with my hair really nicely. So we're gonna go in with the Morphe sponge and we're gonna try to... Next, we're gonna try the Blendiful. Um, since I've used all three corners, I'm gonna try it. Flip it to the other side. Like, flip it. Like literally, like flip it. Yeah, flip it and then use this to get some product. Cool. Okay, got some product. Okay, then we're gonna try to do this on the other side. Ooh. Too much as well. Too much. So we're gonna go in with the um, foundation side and just like take away a little bit. I prefer the blendable side. I don't know what's happening. I prefer this, the Blendiful side. I did not expect this. I did, I did not expect this. Okay, last we're go going in with highlighter and we're going to use the Focalure highlighter that I always use. I know how this performs. I know how it looks like with both a brush and a sponge. So I'm going to go in this side. It's one of my favorite um, highlighters because it's just like my perfect skin tone highlighter. See that? So we're going to try the little heart puff. It's not as soft, but we're going to try it anyway. Okay, we have some highlighter there. Okay, so clearly, clearly the sponge wins in with the highlighter side, which I definitely expected because this is wet and highlighters just perform better when they're wet. 
uh, in my opinion and you can just definitely see a difference well, in, well I don't know if you can see it on camera but you can definitely see a difference with how beaming they are definitely still super beautiful on the blendable side and you can see it's more blended it looks more like skin like but this is a little bit more like intense in your face it looks much more natural on this side and than this but I do prefer the highlight here like the beamingness but I do prefer how it looks how the diffuse how it diffused on this side. I'm just going to be putting on some brows, some mascara, etc. and I'll be right back. Hey everyone, so here I am. I am back and I am noticing some differences. So this is the side with the Tati Blendiful and this is the side I used the Morphe sponge with. The first obvious difference is something that is wet like a sponge will give off more of a lum luminous um, or like a wettish or like a dewy finish and something like the, in the lines of the Blendiful which is dry will give you more of a matte finish and I mean it depends on your preference which you prefer it also depends on your foundation I mean if your foundation's matte and it dries matte it's gonna be matte right next is the coverage for coverage I noticed that the Blendiful does give me higher coverage for foundation and if you like put like let's say cream bronzer on top it doesn't remove any of that coverage the morphe sponge or any sponge in general gives me lighter coverage in general it just does um, because it does absorb some of that product but having said that it's weird because when it comes to concealer or maybe it's just this time I don't know but I get higher coverage with a morphe sponge for concealer I don't know why um, I did two, do like two layers of concealer which I never usually do and I still notice that the Morphe one gives me higher coverage but I don't know can you if you can see a difference on camera that would be helpful if you tell me next application do not swipe with this I know there are some people who have like amazing skin that can just like swipe BB cream and they're off good to go but I'm not that kind of person um, I do have a lot of scarring and redness and the swiping motion gives me a lot of streaks just like when you use like a brush and then you like apply it like this and it's not a very very good foundation brush you'll see streaks it's exactly the same for me when I use the Blendiful in that way but when I start to do a patting motion it just looks flawless flawless my skin this side it looks like it looks so smooth I just I feel like it looks so smooth and flawless and my this whole face just looks really good this on the other hand I still see a lot of the scarring and it doesn't look as smooth for some reason I don't I feel like it's just sitting on top and it's not like my skin it just looks like makeup on top of my skin so for cream bronzer I prefer the Blendiful because of the shape especially with blush I, I really like the Blendiful with blush like I don't know there's just something about putting blush with this that just makes it so flawless I, I just I really like the blush with this okay with the highlighter you can see that this is more intense because the morphe sponge is damp and anything damp will intensify any shimmery thing the Tati Blendiful however I used the baby sponge the heart shaped one and I had low expectations but in all fairness it's still really beaming and I feel like I just I, I prefer how it's applied I prefer how smooth the application is as opposed to this where I had to stamp in some of it and then just like blend around it's not as smooth like around here under my eye and maybe it was my fault as well but I just I prefer how how dispersed how I dispersed it in this area using the little blendiful I did not expect this at all I was very 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 skeptical about using this like I bought it just because I wanted to try it for myself I really like it like at first when I was putting up my foundation I was like if you saw the clips I was just like nah wasted my money but now I'm like I really like the finish I really really do enjoy the finish with the case of the Blendiful versus the sponge I'm gonna have to give it to the Blendiful before I end this video, I want to see how this washes. So you can see I've used 
like all the corners and it's like filled with dirt and makeup dirt also this is the foundation from my hand I want to see if it like can remove foundation or like make oh it removed the makeup okay let's zoom you in so this is my hand that's dirty I want to see you can see this is my real skin tone and this is the foundation I want to see if it can remove makeup so um, like the face halo which I had at one point I just want to see how it's gonna work if it removes like makeup whoa it removed the makeup you can still see a little bit but it removed the makeup I've had the foundation on my hand since I started the video so this was like the foundation was set on my hand already and and it's gone and so you can use this to apply makeup and you can also use it to remove makeup which is awesome okay great now we're gonna see how this washes I won't toss it in the wash I'm just gonna hand wash it and we'll see if it's gonna be completely clean right now this is how it looks like it's kind of dirty and uh-huh dirty so we'll see how it look like after I clean it so unfortunately this is it wet and you can see that I tried to remove this as best I could but it's still there um, not well, the other side seems clean enough but you can still see some staining over there I didn't expect this to be clean all throughout but Tati did mention that it could be it seems a little bit hard to clean honestly there's like a sponge inside you know how those like uh, it's like a pocket and there's like a sponge inside that's like kind of loose it's not sewn on the sides and you can almost deform it like see you can deform it like all the thingy is here and there's nothing here unlike this small one the sponge inside seems to be really really like tight in there maybe because of the the heart shaped if you have any questions please leave them down below so i can work on those for the next video and hopefully answer your questions there you have it everyone thank you so much for watching i hope this video was informative and helpful to you i do hope you comment down below your concerns your questions anything you want me to answer maybe i can answer those questions for you and yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoy this video please comment down below and uh, like this video if you did and ring the bell don't forget to ring the bell or maybe it's, it's the bell here or like here subscribe if you haven't already and i hope to see you in my next one bye